I am so happy that you feel ready for your adventure to Middle Earth. So let's dive in. How to read Tolkien and where to start. First of all, I want to say that there is no right or wrong way to approach the books of Tolkien. This is my own personal opinion, preference, call it whatever you like. And yeah, let's get right into it. So I would recommend starting with The Hobbit. It is a great introduction to Middle-earth and it is very easy and accessible to read. The Hobbit was published in 1937. Then I would go ahead and start reading The Lord of the Rings. This book is usually divided into three parts. The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers and The Return of the King. If you're planning on reading it, I would suggest getting the three volumes instead of one big volume because it's so much easier to read when the parts are smaller and it is more motivating to finish a part. I'm sure it will make things a lot easier and it will help you get through the book more easily. The first part of The Lord of the Rings was published in 1954. Next, I would suggest reading The Silmarillion. This is going to be your biggest challenge. It was published in 1977 and it's kind of a bible of Middle-earth. Um, it tells us about the history of elves, of dwarves, of men, and it's about a battle against the Dark Lord Morgoth. Then I would suggest going into The Unfinished Tales. It was published in 1980 and it is a collection of stories taking place in the first, second and third age. We get information about the quest to Erebor, um, the hunt for the ring, the Istari and we also get information about the Druidain. Next I would recommend The Children of Purian. This book was published in 2007 and it expands on the story of Turin Turambar. Next I would go for The Fall of Gondolin. It was published in 2018 and it is about the destruction of one of the most beautiful elven cities ever built. Next I would go for Beren and Luthien. This is one of the most beautiful love stories in Tolkien's Middle-earth. This one was published in 2017. Next, you can dive into the nature of Middle-earth. I still need to read this book, by the way. And then, of course, you can finish everything up with the letters of Tolkien. He also wrote a lot of poetry, for example, The Adventures of Tom Bombadil. This was published in 1962. And The Road Goes Ever on in 1967. And then the final books that I would eventually tackle are the History of Middle-earth books. These are the earlier versions and draft of Tolkien's writing and they offer insight into the development of his legendarium. Tolkien's books are all about the battle of good and evil, loyalty, heroism, fate, free will and the importance of friendship. If you're interested in taking a look at my Tolkien collection, you can watch this video next.